Now to the Middle East. And cold water has been poured today on the positive news of a four-day truce agreed between Israel and Hamas. Uh, Israeli and the United States officials have warned this truce agreement and hostage swap won't start until at least tomorrow, uh, thwarting the hopes of many families. This comes as Israel has continued its ground in air assault and the Israeli Prime Minister again vowing to achieve absolute victory over Hamas. So what will this delay mean for hostages in Gaza and the fighting uh, that is going on there? Let's talk to Yotam Confino, journalist there in Tel Aviv. Um, this morning. Um, how do you assess this and, and where we're at with this? Well, we're hearing uh, certain things from Israeli officials who are calling this administrative issues, logistical details that need to be finalized. So they're downplaying um, the fact that this has been, de been delayed. It's uh, almost as if this was uh, expected to be delayed. And uh, we hear from the United States also that it absolutely expects the, the, the deal to go through, but it will be Friday. Uh, Qatar is saying that within the coming hours it will announce when the deal is going to be set into motion. But of course, a lot of frustration in Israel, especially among the families, many of whom haven't received any news about whether their loved ones are even on the list of hostages to be released. And when will those families find out if their loved one is on that list? Only 50 are going to be released, but there are, we understand, 240 people being held. It must be a desperate wait for them. It's a horrendous wait. Uh, we expect that they will be notified at the very last minute. And the reason being that Israel knows that it's about to make a deal with the devil, so to say. It's like making a deal with Al-Qaeda. So everything can fall through at the very last minute. So in order not to give the families false hope, it will only notify them at the very, very last minute when they know for sure that their loved ones are going to be on, uh, included in this batch of people who are being released. And we have to remember, it's not 50 people all at once. It's 12 the first 24 hours, and then 12, and then 12 until you reach uh, 50. So again, a lot can go wrong here. It's an ongoing situation. The war is not over. It's As we speak, Israeli military are operating in Gaza, and rockets are being fired from Gaza uh, at Israel. Well, keep us posted, Jotam. Lovely talking to you again.